Hello, 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 and welcome to another episode of Crazy Town Gaming. My name is Jonas, I'm your host, and I'm here with TNT Dynamite the Explosive One Jonas, you're the man on the sticks. I'm using them, and you're I have them. And Madden 20, the Houston Oil Daddies. Yeah, we're oiling up the friends for the party. <laughs> Just the dads. Yeah. <laughs> As always, playing offense only, simming that D, using the balance playbook, and uh, all Madden arcade mode. Easy mode. As everyone likes to tell me. Mm. <laughs> Why don't they post videos playing on all Madden Arcade? Let me like, see how their videos what? go. You see, you're getting, look, you're letting it affect you. <laughs> this is the price of beans in China, I'm telling you. <laughs> <laughs> Jonas, yeah, did, you ever have, did you ever have to walk to school? <laughs> uh, yeah. I, I mean, I didn't, did I ever have to. Well, I have I'm you ever, I guess. I had to. I did, but I think it was because like I lived close enough that I could walk or take the bus. No, oh, okay. And you you walked to school like frequently or often? Oh uh, yeah, like when I was in junior high, my mom used to like drop me off at a friend's house on the way. She had to go to work, so she would drop me off, and then we would walk to school together. Because, because, mm. because. Um, I used to walk this. I'd walk home from school sometimes, like because it was like. It was because the if I took the bus, it took forever because I was like the last stop. Mm -hmm. I was the first one to be picked up, the last one to be dropped off. The way the bus route did, yeah. So it took forever sometimes, and I was like, I'm "Good, I'm just walk Fam, home." Do you know that the entirety of the time that I went to Ashtabula High, I had to walk home from school and walk to school? Really? Yeah, I was not on the bus route the entire time. Uh, well, you know what? I kind of, I guess I misspoke. The entire time in junior high and high school, I should have went to a different high school, so I didn't have a bus option. I had to oh, get Aunt Becky, sitting right here in the living room <laughs> with me. I Aunt Becky, Ashtabula <laughs> High School, the epitome of prowess. I don't know. I mean, when you starve for choice, I guess, but... Yeah, so I, I would have to walk home from school, and it's funny because, like, even when I lived in Cleveland, when I was but a young little dynamite junior... I used to have to walk to Catholic school, but yeah. uh, I would walk to school. Jones, let me tell you a little story about one time I was walking home from school. I'm walking home from school, a little TNT Dynamite Jr., maybe about 10, 11 years old, walking with one of his neighbor's uh, daughter. Her name was uh, Pi, for, for short. We'll just call her okay. Pi. All right. And... Uh, not not the best neighborhood. Was she round like a blueberry? Is that why they called her pie? No, that was actually just her nickname. Oh, okay. <laughs> I don't know why. But anyway, so me and her are walking home from school, uh, from our Catholic school with a dress code. You used to have to wear button-down shirts, uh, blue pants, and the girls would have to wear like pleated skirts. Okay. But either way. Typical Catholic school. Yeah. yeah. Walking home from Catholic school, and in the middle of the street, I see a man pull a gun on another man. And say, where the F is my F and money? So, Jonas, being an 11 year old child, yeah. what do you think my first in instinct was to do? To either run or yell at him to stop. Those are my Whoa. two. <laughs> like, you're either, like, you're either like, I'm scared, I'm out, or you didn't realize the danger and you're like, stop that. <laughs> He's a good man. <laughs> <laughs> no, Jonas. Yo, we're talking about the streets, man. Right. I book it. And I make it about 10 steps, and I look back, and Pi is on her knees praying to Jesus. Oh, dear. Like, please she's just do, like, please don't shoot me. Is the guy shooting a gun at her? No. At her? No. no she, oh, she just, like, gave up. She yeah. just was like, I'm done. Please don't shoot me. Basically. Yo. Putting her hands in Jesus' hands, her heart in Jesus' hands. So I remember, this is like the middle of the street, middle of the day, man. Yeah, some parts of Cleveland aren't Yo, good places. I remember I turned around and I ran back and I grabbed her, pulled her up to her feet and said, let's go. The guy that had the gun was like, oh, come on, kid. You, you ain't in any danger. 
We didn't care. All kids, come on. <laughs> come not, on, kids. You ain't in any trouble. Like, oh, come on, kids. Oh, after you just pulled a gun on a man and said, where my effing money? And you're talking about you ain't in no danger. Hey. Right? Either way, uh, we made it safely home. And that was a traumatic school. I remember that to this day. Yeah, dude. There was this one time one of my friends was walking home in junior high. Yeah. And uh, somebody threw an adult magazine at him. <laughs> It hit like, like out of a car. Yeah, it threw it at him and hit him with it. Yeah, and it fell down and it was like one. It wasn't like a. It was like a really raunchy one. Like a hustler. Yeah, something. Yeah, it was like that. And I remember it was like, and he had it for a while and like, and uh, then finally his mom made him throw it away. Uh, he had it for a while. Because no, why did she make like, him What happened it? was he he had it and I think he was trying to hide it from his mom. Yeah, and he had a little sister. Who I think saw it, and she started saying like really dirty things about the magazine, but like was saying them all. She was a couple years younger than him. She oh, was, so like he was like thirteen, she was probably like ten. Oh, she wasn't hiding that very well, right? And she she said some very like sexual things. Oh, no. about things, and she was like, "You have to throw that away. Your sister is getting him." No, like, that's like, not good. But right, right, right. But it was like, uh, but yeah. So this, yeah, he was just walking home, and just he was like, "Yeah, dude, was walking home," and like. All of a sudden, somebody hit me with something. I'm like, what the F, dude? And then I looked down, and I was like, oh, hey. <laughs> Yo, I can't even remember how I procured my first piece of adult media. I couldn't tell you, but I know it was in magazine form. Yeah. And I remember, I remember my dad finding it. Yeah. And then, like, asking me where I got it from. And I was like, somebody from school. Where'd you get this smut? <laughs> and then I remember him handing it back to me, nodding his head in approval <laughs> and saying, don't let your mom see it. Yeah. Right. <laughs> right. He's like, oh, you like boobs. Awesome. Yo, and I was like, I'm in trouble. But at no point was I in any trouble. Yeah. And I was like, oh, that's cool. Well, that cool. was like when, uh, when I was married. We found out that one of the children was looking at adult material on their tablet. <laughs> was it the was it the fat ass Asian girls? <laughs> no, no, that was just something looking up on YouTube. Okay. <laughs> no, uh, it was a uh, but like and like we and like we had to like have a talk with him about it. But it wasn't so much he, he thought he was in trouble, but it was more like, hey, there's nothing wrong with that. You're just not old enough to look at it. We can't let you look at that you're not of age to look at that sort of stuff but we're not like telling wait. you that you're in trouble wait Just how how old was he he was like 15 or 16 oh my god that is freaking plenty old to be looking at legally that. it's not Le we can't okay. we can't endorse that dude you can't okay. as a parent you can't be like that's great look up all all the f you want dude no i mean okay look Okay. <laughs> if someone came in your house and found out that you were letting your minor child watch adult material, you would be in a lot of trouble. It's yeah. in, it's a legality thing. Yeah, but it was okay, like okay, we're not shaming it. Look, check it, Jonah. Yeah. It does go against nature. A hundred percent. Yeah. Right? Well right. Because these at that age you're gonna be inclined to smack it. All right? Right. I'm I've been smacking it right. before fifteen. Right, right, right. And you need something to smack to. Well, but that's why we came at it from the angle of, like, we're not saying that you should never look at this stuff. We're just saying we can't allow you to look at it. You cannot look at it till you're of age to look at it. Because we can get, you know what I mean? It's like saying we're not shaming you for doing it. We're not saying you're bad for doing it. You just legally can't do it. We can't allow you to do it. Is it are you sure it's not like that thing where, like, if you take your kid to go have a drink and, it, you know, you don't try to get them intoxicated, but you can take your kid to have an adult beverage? You can't. You, you can't. absolutely can. You cannot. I learned this in nursing school. You absolutely can. You can absolutely take an underage kid to go have a drink with you in a bar as long as they're supervised and you're not. Fuck the bar serving them. Amen, but you absolutely why legally you can't. House rather than at the bar, like why are you got to take him to the bar. I mean, I'm just saying. Yeah, dude. No, I'm, I'm pretty not. sure. Look, I, hey, look. All this, all, all discretion aside, look that up. Make sure that's right. I'll, I'll look it up too after this episode, dude, because I want to make sure yeah, that's but, true. Like regardless, but you I will never change my opinion on that. I, like, well, I know, like but he, he can do whatever he wants when I don't know about it. But you can't it. I cannot, legally. I cannot advocate for it. 
See, but you can sow leniency to the uh, scrutiny. Ooh. Right. There was he. There was no punishment for what he did. Yeah. It was a talk of like, hey, there's a time and place. Now's not the time. I, you know what? I get here. Yeah. Like, I could see. I could see, like, I don't know how to say it, Jonas. It's such a touchy subject it when is. you're talking about that. Well, it's the same kind of talk as, like, if you find out your kid's, like, smoking marijuana or something. And they're yeah. like, and you're like, I can't let you do that, but I'm not saying that you're in trouble for doing it. You know what I mean? It's like the same kind of mindset. Really? Like, if you don't have a problem with them doing it, you're like, I can't advocate you at this age living in my home doing marijuana, but. I'm not telling you that you're in trouble that I found out you did it. And see, I feel I feel a little bit differently about that. Like, if I find out that my 15, 16-year-old son that I do not have and never will yeah. is smoking marijuana in my home, I'm going to be like, that ish is illegal. Like, you can go to jail for that. So and, can you with watching adult material if they're not But smoking is not a natural process of, gr- of maturation. Like, whether you like it or not, sex is the most natural thing that we do on this planet. And then wanting to look at the human form in states of undress is just as natural right. as that to me. Exactly. But you can Smoking also, is different. You can also smack it without watching adult stuff. That it's illegal How? To watch. How do you do that? Dude, people do With it. With nothing? I mean, look, honestly, I'm, I'm 13. I'm starting from zero. You want me to look at nothing? <laughs> I don't even know what a vagina looks like. And you're just like, hey, go, get it. <laughs> I've never even seen one. <laughs> I don't know, man. Like, I didn't want this whole episode to become about that. It was just a... I don't even know where we were. No. Where did I'm, the episode start? I'm just... Dude, I'm just adding... I'm adding drama to the channel. I'm just saying, I'm starting from zero. Lie, I've been smacking it for years. Yeah, I don't I know. Lie, <laughs> smacking it, flipping, rub it down. For years. I need a body bag. Yeah, dude, you're like Belle Bib DeVoe. Ah, yeah, I don't know how. I had a lot of things oh I had to Oh, my with God. When I, was, uh, when I had stepchildren. I remember uh, a, we using the tablet to look up big boob girls on YouTube. Yeah. And he was like seven, eight, nine, somewhere in yeah, there. Yeah, at least on YouTube, you know, it's like. Yeah. Both. And then we're. <laughs> and then approaches me as like, uh, were you looking up a big boob girl too? And I was like, what? <laughs> <laughs> You're like, well, I'm going to look it up somewhere else. <laughs> I'm, like, I'm like, look, honey, I'm, I'm in my late 20s. <laughs> I've, been, I've been moved past that. I'm not looking at big boob girls on YouTube. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Somewhere else. Yeah. <laughs> I've moved past that, all right? <laughs> big boob girls. <laughs> Can't wait to get in there. And you know what? Maybe that's why. They don't want them to be desensitized, Jonas. Yeah, dude. Because exactly. when, when you think the amount of... Dude, it's already way easier to get adult content than ever. For yeah. Kids. Like, it was, like when we were children, were wrong. teenagers, it was hard to find that stuff. Yeah, because you'd have to have the internet for one thing. Yeah, or yeah, or even before the internet or whatever. Like, or it was all through magazines. But magazines weren't hard to find. Yeah, but you like, still, like... I mean, they weren't easy if you didn't have, like, someone who you could get them from. Everybody had a kid at school who they knew was the mag magazine plug. I didn't have a magazine plug. You didn't have a mag plug? No, nah, dude. Nah, we <laughs> didn't have a mag plug. Yo, I definitely had a mag plug. Oh, yeah? Eric Kazin. I'll name him. <laughs> wow. This is a Cleveland boy? Yeah. You're like, I still... What do you no, say? Was, dads or what? Wait, no. This was in Cleveland. This was probably Richmond Heights. Did he steal them from his father? I think so. Eric Kaysen, that's some bitch. <laughs> that that's some bitch, Eric Kaysen. <laughs> and then our never mind. You know I was gonna get into some real crazy. Yeah, we're stuff. almost done. Don't I don't want to give. I don't want to give any kids ideas. Yeah, don't do. Like that. we really did. No, I never had one. Either way, don't look that. Come in a place. Yeah. Then you can do whatever you want. Because that's what Jonas wants. That's legally what you should. touch it. It's no nut in November. And <laughs> it's the most throwing motion ever, man. I'd, Seconds later. Never. All right, man. That is all the time we have for today's episode. Uh, please make sure to like and subscribe. If you've already done that, make sure that you uh, tell a friend. Send someone our way. Anything you want to do. We're growing, and it's all because Jonas <laughs> TNT Dynamite. We are uh, oh. out.